Hi, thanks for tuning in to the Copyright Chat channel. My name is Sarah Benson and I'm the Copyright Librarian at the University Library. If you're watching this video, you're probably a faculty member at the University wishing to learn more about our open access policy. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I will briefly describe the campus open access policy, what it covers, and why all faculty members at the University should know about it. Hopefully, after you've watched this video, you'll be inspired to tell others about the policy and to start depositing your published scholarly articles into the university's digital repository called Ideals. But first, let's talk about your rights in the works you produce as faculty members at this university. You wrote your syllabi, your lesson plans, and your PowerPoints, your scholarly books, and your scholarly articles, so you own all of those works. Now, generally speaking, when you work for a company or a university and you produce copyrightable works in the course of that employment, those works would be owned by the employer. This is known as the work made for hire doctrine. However, at the University of Illinois, your academic and scholarly works are gifted back to you by the university in the university statutes and the general rules. So, you generally own your own copyrightable works. The main exception here is when the university provides more than a, quote, customary amount of university resources in producing the work, such as in the creation of videos for massive open online courses or MOOCs. As most of you already know, publishers need a license or a contract from you, the author, in order to publish your works. However, they do not need a full transfer of copyright to publish and preserve your work. A non-exclusive license would work just fine with you retaining the copyright, and some journals allow authors to retain copyright as a default. Like any other contract, publishing contracts are negotiable, and I encourage you to negotiate for your rights with publishers. You could, for instance, use the SPARC, S-P-A-R-C, author's addendum, which allows you to retain key rights, such as the right to deposit a copy of your article in the digital repository, as well as the right to use your article to teach and for conference presentations as well. Why did the Academic Senate of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign unanimously pass the open access policy in 2015? Because we are a land-grant institution, and the mission of our institution is to pioneer innovative research tackling global problems and expanding the human experience. This research, though, is not helpful to the public if it is buried behind paywalls and expensive journal subscription fees. Most of the research conducted at the university is publicly funded, either by federal or state grants, and it's meant to help the general public. As such, the Academic Senate expressed that, quote, the faculty of the University of Illinois is committed to disseminating its research and scholarship as widely as possible. Therefore, the open access policy was designed to make faculty research widely and freely available through a central repository called Ideals at the University of Illinois. The open access policy applies to tenure track and tenured faculty at the University of Illinois, as well as administrators. Key to the policy is that the policy does not require that faculty members transfer any copyright rights to the university. Instead, through the policy, faculty members grant the university a non-exclusive license to make the articles published by faculty members freely available to the public through the digital repository. IDEALS stands for the Illinois Digital Environment for Access to Learning and Scholarship. IDEALS collects, disseminates, and provides persistent and reliable access to the research and scholarship of faculty, staff, and students at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The open access policy requests that faculty members deposit their published articles into IDEALS to make them freely available to the public. IDEALS does not have a paywall, nor does it charge a fee for viewing or downloading works, and as such is an ideal way to disseminate the scholarship of university faculty to the world. When you publish an article with a journal, you're required to sign an author's agreement. Please read the agreement carefully. If the contract does not allow you to put the final post-peer-reviewed or published version of the article into our digital repository, Ideals, then let the publisher know about our open access policy and negotiate. All contracts are negotiable and publishing contracts are no different. You can use an author's addendum like the one created by Spark to change the terms of the contract in your favor. 
Remember, the open access policy is actually one tool you can use with the publisher as leverage to retain some of your author's rights. Note that the policy asks that you put the final post peer-reviewed or published version of the article into Ideals. It's pretty easy to do. Once you've negotiated your author's contract permitting you to put the final version of the published article into Ideals, which might be referred to as the institutional repository in the agreement, just obtain a PDF version of the article and follow the prompts on ideals.illinois.edu. Of course, there are times when you are unable to negotiate with the publisher or the publisher has imposed an embargo for a certain period of time before you can put the work into Ideals. In some cases, the publisher may require that you obtain a waiver of the policy from the university. You can request a waiver by contacting the Scholarly Communication and Publishing Unit in the University Library at scpub at library.illinois.edu. Or, you can let the university know if you're placing your work in another open access or freely available repository. Now that you know about the open access policy, please help us spread the word. Knowledge is the first step, but using the policy and putting your published articles into ideals is the way to change the world by disseminating the world-class research that you, the faculty members at the university, create. And of course, if you have any questions about this policy, a waiver, or ideals, please ask us at scpub at library.illinois.edu. Thanks for watching.